Hello and welcome to study with Sudhir. You know this is your digital classroom. I am T.S. Sudhir. We have already done the syllabus changes as far as English literature and geography are concerned in ICSE class 10. Let's now look at biology. Okay, what are the changes that have been made in the syllabus as far as academic year 2020-21 are concerned? Okay, and also right at the end of the video, five tips for you to master biology and yes, also the recommendation of a book that I would suggest you should read. Okay, so all that coming up in this video. Okay, uh, now there are 15 chapters in biology if you look at the textbook. Uh, of this, of course, the first chapter on cell, the structural and functional unit of life is more of a revision or let's say an introductory kind of a chapter, right? Now of the 14 chapters, what has been omitted for 2021 batch? And there have been quite significant changes and this at least biology is one subject where the uh, reduced portion is almost closer to the 25% that the council has claimed. Uh, I think the omitted uh, portion will almost come to 23-24%. Now three chapters have been completely omitted. These are human evolution, okay, which means students do not need to bother about Darwin's theory of evolution or the Ramapithecus man. Also, the pollution chapter goes out of the window okay in any case there was a bit of an overlap with geography as i thought because the waste management chapter in geography also dealt with more or less the same kind of things though i would personally think the biology chapter was much more interesting than the chapters in geography which are too much of definitions and stuff like that okay uh, also removed is the chapter on chemical coordination in plants okay so human evolution chemical condition in plants and pollution. These three chapters completely out. Even the population chapter is removed. But there is one part of the population chapter on methods of population control, the surgical methods of tubectomy and vasectomy. They have been added to the reproductive system chapter. Okay, so when you are doing the reproductive system in your book, in case obviously you are late, you may not have the latest edition which would incorporate these changes specific to this academic year. So you need to learn the reproductive chapter, system chapter and from the population chapter ensure that you learn about the surgical methods of controlling population, the tubectomy and vasectomy. Okay, they have been added to your reproductive system chapter. But your focus still will largely have to be on the what I call the heavy duty chapters which actually constitute a significant part of your syllabus also from the examination point of view in terms of weightage. Okay, now these are the chapters on the nervous system, the circulatory system, the excretory system, the reproductive system etc. Similarly in botany, genetics, photosynthesis, transpiration etc. you need to be absolutely thorough because biology again is a subject. There are two things about biology. One, you can score high, very high in the high 90s. But biology is also challenging because you get questions mixed up from everywhere. So you cannot do percentage study. You cannot leave out anything in biology thinking that if I leave out this chapter, manage kar lunga. Wo nahi ho payega because you may get a short question answer or a long question answer from any chapter in the entire syllabus okay now for the 2021 batch i want to tell a few quick tips on how to deal with biology especially since most of the learning now this year is going to take place in the online space and i would recommend you to watch a video that uh, tejaswini had put out earlier as part of the teju ki patshala series on how to do well and score high marks in biology i'm putting the link in the description box okay so please do go ahead and have a look at it tip number one when you go into the biology class and I'm talking specifically about the online classes right now and you know what chapter the teacher is going to teach that particular day, ensure that you have the relevant diagrams in front of you because that will make your understanding process that much easier. Okay. And you can relate to what is being taught to you. Okay. Point number two, biology is a lot about detail okay so you need to give it adequate amount of time in order to understand it and be able to learn it okay and remember it so revision becomes key so what it means is that on the same day that you have been taught a particular concept 
in the class, in the online class or later on whenever the physical classes begin, ensure that you revise the same part on the same day. Trust me, this part of your human body will be able to retain it that much better. The next time you revise, you'll be able to remember it because you have done two revisions, understanding it in class and done a quick revision as soon as you finish with the class. Okay, so make sure that within the next six hours after the class has got over, you do a quick revision which could take 30 minutes, it could take 45 minutes to an hour. Okay, depending on the uh, toughness quotient of that particular concept. Point number three, diagrams. Now, a lot of students fret about diagrams. Now, remember diagrams in biology are about accuracy. They are not testing your artistic ability. They are not testing how beautiful your diagrams are. Yes, if you have the talent to draw beautifully, they only add value to the diagram. But you will be marked not on the basis of your artistry, but on the basis of your accuracy. Okay, so that's something very important. So make sure you practice drawing the diagrams as much as possible. Uh, and the accuracy is what is going to help you score marks. Point number four, relate what you learn, especially in the botany class to life around you. Spend some time with your, with your plants in the garden or with your potted plants. Feel the leaves, touch the leaves, feel them. You know, you need to have an empathy with the plant life and that will, you know, somewhere at the back of your mind, subconsciously, it will help you appreciate and understand botany that much better. Okay, when it comes to human anatomy, you can understand what happens within your own body. You're not talking about the heart, the brain, the nerves, etc. So, and relate to it what happens, relate what is happening within the class to understanding of your own body, the sense organs and stuff like that. Now, the, because the best part about a subject like biology is that it's about you and your surroundings. Okay, so the more you appreciate it, it becomes that much easier to understand and learn about it. Okay, finally, do not rely on rote learning. Okay, again, many students have this misconception that you need to kind of rectify a lot of stuff, mug a lot of stuff as far as biology is concerned. Work out, work out codes in your own simple language depending on what your interests are, right? And apply them to what you are learning in that particular chapter, in that particular lesson so that the mind absorbs it like a sponge. Okay, now what the practice that we have started, uh, a book recommendation from my side and this is not a reference book this time. This is a piece of fiction. This is a novel that I read actually uh, a couple of years ago, uh, God is a Gamer by Ravi Subramanian. Uh, it is one of his several novels and in fact, I was introduced to Ravi Subramanian in 2014 December. I was traveling with family on a holiday to Colombo and I picked, up, picked it up at the airport store, one of his books, one of his early books, I think Bankster, The Bankster. And I finished it on the aircraft itself. By the time I landed in Colombo, I had finished it and then I picked up two, three more of his books and I read it all of them within a week. I mean, Ravi's speciality is that his novels are page turners. You cannot put the book down because you are, he leaves you kind of hanging at the end of every chapter and you want to know what happens next. So that's something very important. Now, of course, Ravi is a friend. So I am lucky enough to kind of get signed copies of his latest novels from Ravi. So that's a privilege I get right now. So if you are the kind who enjoys financial and racy thrillers, I would strongly recommend all of Ravi's novels. Uh, he's in fact referred to as the John Grisham of banking. Now that's a huge honor and a huge comparison uh, to have. And uh, John Grisham is known for his legal thrillers and another one of my favorite uh, novelists. So this is today's recommendation. So any of you interested in fiction and things which involve money and uh, black money and bitcoins and stuff like that. This one and any of Ravi Subramanian's books is something which I will highly recommend. Okay, so happy reading, happy studying. God bless you. Thank you very much for watching.